exclusive how Buhari's minister awarded multi-billion Naira contract to self, Tinubu and others. My dear, some shady deeds are coming out and it's right, it's quite alarming and um, very, I mean, very, very, uh, I mean, eye-opening that some of these people you think you know really mean well for the country are doing things in their own way and mostly you know enriching themselves at the expense of nigerians at the expense of the country and it's very shameful because you expect more from these people called leaders you really expect more you see please don't forget to give us a thumbs up like us share subscribe let's get all the details exclusive how Buhari's minister awarded multi-billion Naira contract to itself, Tinubu and others. Sir reporters learned that others who benefited from the elaborate contract include the late Isiak Fontoni, a long-time political associate of President Muhammadu Buhari. The Minister of Youth and Sports Development, Sunday Dari, awarded value added service contracts to himself and the All Progressive Congress national leader and former Lagos State Governor Ashiwaju among, Ahmed Bola Tinubu, among others. Sir reporters learned that others who benefited from this elaborate contract include this late Isiak Fontomi, a long-time political associate of Muhammadu Buhari. An investigation by Sir reporters shows further that Dari awarded a contract when he was the executive commissioner stakeholders management of the nigerian communication commission ncc there a former spokesman for tinubu was appointed by buhari as the southwest executive commissioner of the ncc in 2016. he was however replaced by Adele Ki. Ade Wole in 2019 as President Muhammad Buhari named him Minister of Sport and Youth Development. Value Added Service VAS is a team, term used in, tech, in, tech, in telecommunication to describe non core fixtures, which traditionally are non voice functions such as video, data, and so on. Other awards awarded the multi-billion Naira contract by Dari include Human, Executive Vice Chairman, Chair, Chief Executive Officer of the NCC, Naomi, Senator Ifeiwa, and others. A top source said the current Minister of Sports, Sunday Dari, single-handedly gave some corrupt Nigerians the NCC license when he was the executive commissioner. He gave himself a slot and also gave Naomi for global com. He gave Bola Tinubu a slot and also Husman, the executive vice chairman of the NDCC, NCC a slot. He also gave Senator Isifeiwa Arumo was on Sunday appointed chairman of the board of the Nigerian National Petroleum Commission. NNPC. After Buhari, in his capacity as Minister of Petroleum Resources, directed the cooperation of the country, of the company. According to the top source, others are Abdurrahman and his brother Abdul Salim Abubakar. They were all awarded value-added service co con contract for the NCC. This include the use of the use of USSD code. They generate at least 25 billion per month for that. The use of SSD could bring a lot of money, the source has added. Abdurrahman is a director with telecommunication operation 9, 9 Mobile. Futam was a federal minister in the second Nigerian Republic after leaving the government's job. He went into business and was a personal friend and close associate of Buhari until his death. He was known to be very influential in Buhari's administration. USS means on st structured supplementary service data, which allow people without smartphone or data or internet connection to use mobile banking through the use of the code, but at a charge. Although the value added services they generate at least 25 billion naira per month, the Attorney General of the Federation, Abuba Kamalami, is also badly involved. He was very close to Malami, Isiak Pantami, as well. 
Pantami is the co current Minister of Communication and Digital Economy. Before then, he was the Director General of the and CEO of the nation of the nation's Info information technology development agency between 2016 and August 2019. Also called Patami, the minister passed called on Judbrin and supported the numerous group and Taliban in in Al Qaeda an Islamic fundamentalist, which has generated a lot of controversies with Nigerians asking that President Muhammad Buhari relieve him of his duty. So whether you like it or not, there are things going on in Nigeria that are quite shady, that are quite hidden under the carpet, that are very, not very clear to everybody. Yes? And so some of those things are going on on the ground. President Muhammad Buhari's administration is one of the most corrupt. But you know what they do? They do some of the corrupt things on that daylight. You see it and they can prove it to you why the things are the way they are. They'll prove it to you. For instance, they tell you that they are collecting money to feed children in school. They, the whole world was in lockdown. They, were, they said they were going to their home to feed them. Now, when there is an audit, that will show that they spend so, so and so billion in feeding children. They also told you that they were during the lockdown, that they gave Nigerians uh, cash, paying it into account. Honestly speaking, since then till now, I have not met any single person in my state who was a beneficiary of that very amount. That you sat down and you got an alert and it says from the federal government of Nigeria to supplement and to help you during the time of the pandemic. There was no such thing. Yet, they said they gave Nigerians all over the state. They began to mention state, the whole 36 state of the Federation, by the way. The money that they gave, it was all stipulated there. So how do you explain these things? Stealing in daylight robbery before your very eyes and telling you that they have not stolen from you. So there is a lot involved when you look at all these things and you are wondering, how did we get here? This is what is happening. Welcome to Nigeria. We had the seat is the order of the day. And Muhammad Buhari's government has perfected the act of cleverly stealing from the people and making it look like they never stole from them. These are some of the things we are experiencing. Leave us a comment. We'd we'll love to hear from you. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like, or share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. Bye for now. Bye.